I think it's dangerous if someone says, I invented this, like they had some unique thought and they're the only person that ever had it. It's just what you do with the thought that separates you from the other people. I think it was Churchill who said, success is going from one failure to the next failure without a loss of enthusiasm. You just gotta keep paddling, man. no matter what, you know, keep paddling. Them putting foot straps on, using tiny boards, and whipping into 30-foot waves, it invented a new sport within surfing that changed everything that was possible at the time. And that all came from windsurfing. Most sports evolve, you know, different people, myriad different solutions and sources, not this one, not windsurfing. Windsurfing started because Hoyle Schweitzer had a business plan and he executed it for a decade and created a sport. I try and get it out of my grandfather a lot when we're having dinner, like, when did you decide that we should ride the wind? You know, and he would just tell me, well, we'd be sitting at the beach with shit for surfing and we wanted to keep having fun. Some people say, oh, that was just so easy for you guys. It just exploded and isn't that wonderful? Well, it didn't just explode. It took years of hard work. From the group of pioneers, five sports have exploded. Towing, kiting, foiling, SUP, and now winging. You could directly trace the roots and they go to windsurfers. Sure, you could trace the roots deeper and they'd go to surfing. Bad shit, this is all bad, bad. I was pissed off when the co-inventor of the sport, when he started doing these lawsuits and trying to hire people to get him back in. He didn't think it was gonna work. Surfers are closed-minded. And so when windsurfing came, if you weren't open-minded, windsurfing was for kooks. They were richer than us, they had all like, you know, 400 sponsors, guys were making big money at it. It was 100% war with surfers and windsurfers. You know I can really see the influence that windsurfing had. I've always said it had that and I knew the influence it had, but maybe not quite the amount of influence. There's no bus, there's no rags to riches to rag. It's all riches. Like windsurfing doesn't have to always be the biggest sport in the world. It's still the freaking best sport ever.